Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video on the Charmeleon ROM on my HTC Evo 4G LTE. Very excited to do this review video as it is the first ROM I have installed on my device. So here we go, let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, as you can see, it's from Team Pokemon, so shout out to them, shout out to Joel's as well. Um, so you'll see Team Pokemon background, obviously you can change your background if you'd like, that's the one that is set by default. Um, looks like you got your stock sense launcher of course with your app drawer and such um, I mean all your stock applications you do have some added ones though you have um, an application called app installer um, if you have any APKs on your internal or external storage it finds them as you can see I have a couple my home and Swift key uh, beta you can check them and hit install and it installs them for you that's uh, a very cool application that app installer um, so you don't have to use a file explorer and do it on your own. So it does it automatically for you. Um, you have all your basically HTC um, apps. Looks like they added a few HTC Hub, Mirror, and such. You have a Notes application. You have Pokemon Tweaks. I'll get to that in a bit because Pokemon Tweaks are very cool. Uh, other things that I wanted to point out, other applications, you have Google Wallet still. Make sure that you do clear out Google Wallet if you do decide to flash another ROM or go back to stock. If you do use Google Wallet, so make sure you clear those out. It is, of course, pre-rooted, super SU right there, so in case you were wondering about that. Um, overall though it's been very fast, very snappy. One of the awesome things about this ROM of course is the Pokemon tweaks. Um, but you got your stock lock screen. Up at the top though you do have a battery percentage modification. You'll see that it does say 100 right there. I did just charge my device. So it does have a battery percentage mod so you know what your battery percentage is at. But otherwise, pull down the notification bar, you'll see right away you basically have your stock notification bar going on right here, but you've got a quick settings button right here. So I'm very glad they included this in this ROM as I do miss the quick settings applications. So here we go, you got screen on, auto brightness, flashlights, rotation, airplane mode, Wi-Fi mobile network. You can actually edit and change these as well. So you got GPS, Bluetooth, you have reboot, uh, task manager, vibrate mode. So you have a bunch of different tweaks. Let's turn on flashlight. As you can see, turned it on right away. It works well. Um, so I mean, overall, these tweaks are very awesome. You can uh, change your media volume, uh, etc. But I guess it's time. Let's go ahead and jump into our Pokemon tweaks. So you can go to them via the app drawer or through your quick settings. Uh, menu right here you'll see it says it up there Pokemon tweaks uh, but there we have it so we got our, our list of our team uh, members and such follow them on Facebook Google Plus etc uh, but let's go ahead and jump into it so down here you have status you can swipe through these down at the bottom as you can see you can swipe through all these different ones here it would be status bar so right here you'll see you have quick settings tweaks you can hide and reorder so we here we go we can uh, reorder them if you want to hide one let's say I don't want um, a certain one. Let's say I don't want wireless ADB to show. I tap that X and you'll see when I go to quick settings wireless ADB is still there. Uh, my guess is I have to hit OK and then it should be gone. Um, yeah, it is gone. So you have to kind of back out of it and then you're, it's gone so it doesn't do it right away but uh, pretty much right away. So of course you can change the order as well. Just tap uh, this icon over here on the right side. You can drag it wherever you want it to go, which is very cool that you can change that order. Um, quick, quick settings. This is something I recommend checking right here. What it does is if you don't have a notification in your notification bar and you pull down your notification bar, you'll see that it automatically shows up the quick settings. It doesn't show the notifications. So even if I click notifications and pull it down, quick settings will be back up because I don't have any notifications. So. Um, I do recommend doing that because it is very convenient to have. Um, you can hide specific notification icons up at the top if you don't want your alarm icon to show. You, if you don't want the GPS icon to show up there, you'll see even if it's on or off, it always shows. Um, so we do that. It says restart of the status bar required. So I'm going to tap that and I'm going to restart the status bar. I haven't done this yet. Um, it should restart. I don't know how long it takes. So it didn't take long. It looks like it's still there though, so I don't know if a full reboot's required. I'm not going to really look into it too much, so um, I'm sure if you did a full reboot it would be gone. Um, but anyways, you got battery options, so you can hide your icons, battery mods, so you can choose your favorite one. So if you don't like the stock with percentage, of course you can change it so you have stock. So if you just want it back to stock, you can do that. Um, of course, you got to reboot your status bar to get it changed. Um, so we have working. I don't know what that is. So let's go ahead and reboot our status bar and check that out. 
Uh, there we go. So it looks like a circle mod with the battery percentage inside of it. That's pretty cool. You have honeycomb. We can restart our status bar. So it's not as fast at changing a battery modification as an AOSP ROM, but of course you've got a sense ROM being able to change these, which is great. Um, looks like the status bar is taking its time to reload up. There we go. So we have our honeycomb style battery icon and an Android one. I'm not sure exactly what this looks like. All right, so we have an Android guy that's got the battery percentage uh, modification in there, and we have a Hulums. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if I am. All right, so very similar to the Circle Mod. Looks a little bit smaller, though. And finally, we have Digital. I guess it would be just a digital look at the percentage. And I was right. So there you have it. You got just your percentage with a digital look to it. Very uh, big style, so you're not going to miss it. Uh, so there you have it, your battery tech, tech style as well, regular, small, no, high text. Um, you can show the My UI battery bar. Up at the top there, you'll see that little line that just showed up. It does it automatically. You'll see um, it's almost full. It does have a little gap at the end though. That lets you know that it's not a full battery, but uh, basically it, it, it's a battery percentage. So then you can hide your icon and then you'll have that bar up at the top. That's actually very cool. Um, so. Uh, battery text color, you can have it automatically color, you can have uh, change the different colors as well. Uh, My UI battery bar color settings, so you can change the color of that bar as well. So, um, other options that we do have within this ROM, not only battery options of course, we have signal options, um, I'm not really going to hop through those that much. Uh, you can change your Wi-Fi color, you can choose diff five different colors for your Wi-Fi icon. Um, so that's actually kind of cool that you can do that. You can change your data color, your signal bars color as well. So you can really mess with the colors up at the top of the not notification bar. Uh, you can have a custom carrier logo, you can have clock options. So if you want to hide your clock or hide AM, PM, as you can see AM, PM shows up by default. You can hide those. Um, high speed mobile data icon, you can replace it, which was, it's just a visual change of course. Um, CM brightness control, when you actually swipe across the notification bar, it will change the brightness. That would be if auto brightness is off, so you got to make sure auto brightness is off. Uh, notification pull down tweaks, you can have carrier labels and recent apps dialog style, you can change that to from default to Android 4.0. This would be the recent apps, you apparently have to restart the status bar, so let's restart it again. And there we have it. So when I go to my recent apps, you'll see it is Android 4.0 now as opposed to the HTC style. I'm actually kind of happy about that. I do prefer this style. So a very cool tweak that you can uh, change. I didn't even know that it had that tweak. So now we can go to our Sense tweaks, Pokemon tweaks. We can have an unlock animation. So when you unlock your device, um, it actually, uh, the, um, the clock actually, the home screen does a little bit of a, a twirl, like a merry-go-round kind of thing so you can have that if you'd like um, I found that it's cool to look at but eventually it gets kind of annoying um, and you, you, you kind of want to just hop into your uh, apps right away so I'm gonna turn that off just because I know that eventually it'll probably get annoying but uh, of course you can try it out so another thing you can have a transparent nav navigation bar uh, you got a, a reboot required, so I'm not going to mess with that. So ultra smooth uh, Rossi as well. You have normal smooth, ultra smooth. What that'll do is actually uh, make it more of a 2D look on the home screen, and it'll make it smooth when you uh, go through. I have no problem with the the look now, so I'm not going to change that as well. Infinite home, so you can endless scroll your home screens, which is cool. I do like that uh, option. Enable cube animation in the app drawer. You have that. You have a bunch of app drawer settings. So let's go to our buttons as well. These are very cool. You have a three finger gesture. Um, you can have it go up. You can have it go down, left, right. And what you can do is actually customize it to an application. So um, it's, a, it's actually very cool that you can do that. Let's say custom app. It should bring up a list of your applications. So if I wanted to open up my calculator, all I have to do is three finger up and it uh, goes to my calculator application with with a themed calculator I believe eh, maybe not I, I actually haven't gone to the calculator on this device so I don't know <laughs> uh, but there you have it there so that's kind of cool that you have those three finger gestures that you can uh, mess with button remapping uh, capacitive backlight you can have it turn off early later never so those are nice tweaks there uh, you can have long pressing your home capacitive button so if I long press my home button it actually turns it into a menu button by default uh, tapping this, um, at least on the ROM at the moment, I'm sure they'll push out an update soon, so you might ha not have to deal with this, but at the moment, when you tap your recent apps button, it won't do anything. It's supposed to be mapped to be uh, a menu button, but 
um, it, it was just a little mess up so what you can do is actually change it to long press home and you have a menu button when you long press your home um, you can have long press back have a close app recent app HTC speak custom app nothing so you can change those of course um, so very cool tweaks there that you can change let's go to our lock screen option so you can change it to your AOSP lock screen option I actually haven't done that yet um, it looks like it says quick reboot required so you have to actually reboot the phone itself so actually let's go ahead and try that out and I will be back all right, so there you have it, rebooted, and we now have our, uh, obviously, AOSP ice cream sandwich lock screen. Go straight to camera, go straight to unlock. Um, there's your different options there for that lock screen. Um, of course, you had to do a soft reboot, which is really no problem. It didn't take too long. So let's go back into our Pokemon tweaks. I believe we were on lock screen. So let's go back to those. Um, you can have a carrier caption. At the top of the lock screen, you'll see that it says Sprint, um, at least on the Sense one it does. It says Sprint up at the top. So if you have that Sense lock screen, you can actually change that or you can hide it as well. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, volume key, music control. When the screen is off, you can actually um, change your volume keys for music control, whether you want it to skip or not. Um, it looks like, okay, Pokemon Tweaks. Um, is not uh, working but uh, that's no issue I actually haven't ran into that issue at all so I'm gonna go back into it uh, probably because the the phone was still loading up it was still booting up so uh, volume key music control you can have don't use um, while it's asking for permission so don't use previous track uh, play pause third party uh, player as well so um, you can have buttons to unlock as well lock screen long press home you have miscellaneous tweaks um, so phone info uh, you can change over scroll color you can change the color of your over scroll glow which is actually kind of cool so of course you can mess with that on your own however whatever color you do like mms screen on so when you get a message a text message it will turn your screen on if you do like that custom navigation application power menu items which is when you press and hold the power button you have a bunch of different options restart screenshot airplane mode mobile data sound control so it has all of them checked so you'll see it's obviously different you vibrate sound on sound off mobile network airplane mode and screenshot and you have a restart menu where you can restart into your recovery or your bootloader it's up to you uh, which is very cool as well uh, volume steps that you do have um, you have different volume steps normal fine finest uh, you can hide arrows from your keyboard from the uh, default HTC keyboard if you don't like those arrows you can disable your boot sound um, if you don't like uh, that Pikachu sound when you boot up you can actually check that and uh, disable it if you do like um, I'm gonna disable it just because I don't want to be in a public place or in anywhere in a quiet place and have that go off that I, I always forget to do that uh, with any boot animation sound I forget to put it on silent and yeah so uh, um, anyways you can change it to game loft compatibility so if you play game loft games you can actually check that and start playing them uh, which is great you can enable Sony Bravia as well uh, let's go to our advanced tweak so some very uh, brief advanced tweaks fix permission zipline APKs mount system wipe cache and wipe Delphic cache so there you have it there that would be just about it for our Pokemon tweaks with this ROM. Very awesome. This ROM is amazing. Um, I mean, as I said, no lag issues at all. Nothing, nothing to complain about whatsoever. And it's been running smooth. It's been great. No, no really customization theme-wise other than those tweaks you can make up at the top. You can change your Wi-Fi signal, color, battery icon. Of course, you can change all of those. But application-wise, all of them are pretty much stock looking. Um, all the icons are stock looking. Uh, so th there you have it there that's that's really about it that's all I wanted to cover got kind of extensive with those Pokemon tweaks but it's definitely worth it to try out this one I highly recommend it um, as I said it's my first ROM so and I am very impressed I don't even see myself getting off this ROM I love these quick settings they added and all the other tweaks available so be sure to check out this ROM the uh, Charmeleon ROM on our HTC Evo 4G oh it looks like they got auto rotation on the home screen as well so that's awesome they got that going on um, I didn't even notice that, so found that out just now. Uh, so there you have it there. Um, that would be the Charmeleon ROM on our HTC Evo 4G LTE. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me, press that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.